Hey everybody, it's Chris and I am back to do another take on the puddle pour painting. So I had done two 12 by 24 canvases, it was a set, and um, I'm using the same colors today. So I have the Canyon Orange by Americana Deco Art Paint. Um, I also have the Americana Coffee Bean, it's a satin paint, it's in this really big bottle. And then I also have Rich Espresso Metallic Paint mixed up. Um, this one is really pretty. And then I've also got a little bit of the Iridescent Gold from Dick Blick mixed up, um, just to kind of brighten it up, which I'm really happy that I did that because it really made a big difference on the painting, on the first two that I did. And the lighter color is called Light Mocha. So on the first set of paintings, I felt like the paint was a little too thick um, for like kind of what I would consider to be a puddle pour. They turned out super cool, but I wanted to do one more painting because I had extra paint left. And this time I've thinned my paint down even more. So it's drizzling off of the popsicle stick. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. I'm gonna start with my puddle in the center and then we're gonna add the dark and the lighter colors on each side of the puddle. But I wanna make sure that my puddle is a really nice big area of the painting. So I'm gonna start with this espresso paint and I'm gonna pour a nice amount of that right in the middle of the canvas. This is a 12 by 16 canvas that we're using. And then next I'm gonna put down some of that Canyon Orange. I'm gonna do it from up high so I get some really cool effects going in the paint. And then I wanna add in a little bit of that lighter brown color, like so. And then we're gonna dump on the iridescent gold that we have left. I don't have a lot of it, but I think it'll be enough to make it really cool. So just kind of drizzling that all over our little puddle of paint there. All right, so that looks really good. And then on the other side of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour on my coffee bean. And this is just a plain satin paint. There's no metallics in it. And I'm just gonna kind of go over there on one side of it. And then I'm gonna pour my light mocha paint on the other side of the puddle. I feel like my light mocha paint is thinner, so hopefully this turns out okay. Don't have a lot of this left, so hopefully it's enough. I did take a paintbrush and kind of dipped into the paint that I had left on my plastic from the first painting, and I did paint the edges of it just to kind of help to coat it. I'm gonna put just a little bit more of this brown over here since I have plenty of it to make sure that I've got this side covered okay. All right, and now we're gonna tilt it. So I kind of wanna do, you can already see, let me see if I can pick this up so you can see it a little bit closer. We've already got some cool stuff going on in the paint down here. So um, that was because I poured it from up high. But now what I wanna do is I'm gonna do some severe tilting. I'm gonna try and keep it in frame for you just to kind of get all these paints to kind of meld together on the top of the canvas and then we'll tilt off of the sides. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. Just like that, I'm gonna go off of the edges. I wanted this one to have a lot more color and it looks like it will. And then I'm gonna come down here and see if I can get this bottom edge covered. And you can hear the paint dripping. It's definitely much thinner than a normal pour. And then I'm just gonna work my way down to this corner. So this one is kind of all over color. I really don't have those. I have a little bit of brown up in that one corner, but I kind of love all the color on it. And I think maybe I wanna tilt that off a little bit if I can because I really love all the colors on this. I'm gonna see if I can get this corner tilted off just a tiny bit and get a little bit more interest going down there. And there it goes. Just like that. I wanna make sure that I've got that edge of the canvas covered. And there we go. All right, just gonna bring this back in and kind of even out my paint on the canvas. Sorry, I've got, got a little window glare there. We have some really cool cells coming up. That's amazing. 
So as I'd explained on the first um, set of paintings that I did, I normally don't use the deco art in the bottles. Um, it's just a different kind of paint, but you can get some very cool effects from it. All right, let me set this down so you can see it. There we go. So you can already see, I have paint on my hands, so I don't wanna drip, but you can already see the orange popping through in areas. It's gonna have some really cool cells and I'm pretty sure this is gonna change a little bit. So let me go ahead and clean up the edges and then I'll pop back on and show you how it looks here in just a few minutes and see how much it's changed. So hold tight. All right guys, I've got my camera out of the cradle and I wanna show you just how cool this painting has become. So this is an up close and personal view of the super cool cells. Sorry, there's reflection of my hands in the painting. But how cool is that? So we definitely have a lot more cells and definitely have a different style of painting, I would say, by thinning those paints out for sure. And I will put a picture of let me come back out so you can see all of it. I will put a picture of the two panels that I did at the end of this, just in case you didn't see that video. Um, and I'll put the link to that video in the description of this one too, just so that if you want to watch it, you certainly can. But holy cow, what a difference it is. Such a difference it made to thin that paint down. All right, guys, so this is a completed puddle pour on a 12 by 16 canvas. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.